Hello, Ms. Rashada. How are you? Nice to meet you. My name is Miho. I'm with Alpha Media San Antonio. And uh, I just, first of all, I want to say congrats on the movie. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy. Um, and that goes to my first question of, like, the color palettes in the whole movie were so beautiful. And I was wondering, uh, like, how, how tough is it to pinpoint the color palettes you want? And is it a continuous process from beginning to end? It's a continuous process. I think it all starts with the research trips that many of our artists went on and, you know, they got to stand in these locations, see how the sun reacts to them, see like the colors in the sky, get really inspired uh, and then bring that, that wealth of knowledge back to the studio with us. Uh, we had one of our production designers named Paul Felix, he was the, the man in charge of creating all the color scripts, which is essentially just taking the entire script, the entire story, and then breaking it down into color palettes and just seeing how the color progresses throughout the movie. Yeah. There's a, there's a great deal of thought put to it, and, and, and I'm glad that you noticed it. Thank you for yeah, bringing no, it. Yeah, no, it was amazing. Um, and I know I read the, the, the script you guys kind of sent me, but um, like the casting process, like the VO process, when watching it, um, I noticed that like Sisu kind of looks like Aquafina. So like when casting, have you have you already drawn up the characters or do you go back and redo it? Because I found that like super cool. Well, I think what's what's really special about animation is that the process goes on for years uh, and the actors are involved throughout the entire process. So you get to record with them in chunks and then many times you redo the scenes and you revisit and then you change words, you change the animation. So animators are able to see the video of the actors recording and then they start basing the designs of the characters and the movements of the characters based on the actors. So that's why you see a lot of gestures that are very similar to Aquafina or uh, just mannerisms. And then and then that process, it's it sort of like, it, it feeds off from the actor's work and then the actor feeds off the animator's work and the the people the the design team's work so it's it's like that and it goes on for a really long time that's, that's awesome um i guess that kind of leads to my my next question of like with the new york rise of like uh cultural storytelling like how important was it or like how does it feel to be developing a story that may not be part of your own culture but like you've been tasked with this this cultural story and like how symbiotic is a relationship with the graphic design team and the cast and like the writers, like, I just found, yeah. it, I found it so amazing. Yeah, well, I think it just gives us a great sense of responsibility to just to know that we're going to be depicting cultures that are not our own and to, to make sure that we're connecting to them on really profound levels and also to surround ourselves with a crew that uh, has a lot of members who do have roots in, in Southeast Asian culture who can speak from direct experience to what it feels like to be raised in those countries and, or to be raised in America with, with roots uh, in Southeast Asia, as well as a cultural team that we put together who worked with us in throughout the process, checking the script, looking at all the designs, checking the cuts and the characters, just to make sure that as we were building this world inspired by their cultures, uh, that it, they felt like we were representing it accurately and that they were a part, uh, an active part of the creation process. That's awesome. And I guess this is a personal question for you, but like, <clears throat> this is your first animated movie. So like, what were some challenges for you, like coming from like the live action movies to like doing your first animated movie? I could only imagine how crazy it might be. Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest challenge was just to learn the ways of Disney animation, because they have very particular ways of putting together a movie, putting together a story, uh, working with so many artists, working with so much input, creative input from so many different sources. Um, and and it's, it's not overwhelming, but it's very different from how movies are made anywhere else. So I think that the biggest challenge for me was getting used in it, adapting my ways of working to how these big studios run. And honestly, once we got a, a hang of it, I, I was able to like really, really just um, feel like I was a part of this family, but it, it took a second. It, it just, it's, it was so different from anything I had done. Yeah, well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. And uh, thank you for making this beautiful movie.
No, thank you so much. I'm glad you like it. And, and uh, nice talking to you. All right. Bye.